Alright YouTube, it is Mr. Mean coming at you on a pretty sunny June 3rd, 2019. Today I start my new job. I'm just waiting for the call to come in and, uh, and get to work. Uh, there We've got a new uh, global IT manager uh, and then uh, he's in Canada and I'm here in Duluth. And so uh, I'm waiting. I'm standing by to stand by. But anyway, the postman knocked on the door and left me a package. And I wanted to, I didn't do an unboxing because to be honest, I'm very hugely disappointed. This was a Kickstarter project that I backed in December of 2014 is when I paid for it. And I just got it in the mail today, June 3rd, 2019. Shotguns and Sorceries, the role-playing game. Uh, first and foremost, uh, let's get housekeeping out of the way. Like and subscribe as always. You can hit me up on zellypay.com. Uh, uh, it goes through your banking institution for the most part if you're here in the U.S. Uh, and you can contribute to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Uh, allows me to keep buying things like this and, and all that fun stuff and doing reviews. Um, like and subscribe. Pass it on all your friends. You guys know the drill. Hit the bell. You'll get notified when I, uh, when I update or, or post anything new. So anyway, today, June 3rd. Hardback, looks like it's stitched, glued, uh, binding, uh, so I don't think it's going to fall apart, uh, although I am seeing the page separate right here on the inside, if I can tilt it up enough right there, um, and there's some wavy marks. I'm going to be uber critical of this book because five years is a hell of a long time uh or four and a half years is uh for a hundred dollar kickstarter i don't even know if this is the limited edition cover uh, i backed at the hundred dollar level i was supposed to have gotten a signature plate signed by matt and uh and uh, another person i think his son i think he helped marty i think or uh I'm, I'm not sure. I know it's supposed to be signed by Matt and, and maybe uh, Robert Schwab, who helped write this uh, uh, of D&D &D and uh, uh, Shadow Lord, Demon Lords or whatever. Uh, I can't think of his name right now. I'm so flabbergasted, guys, that I got this. I will say it was packaged really well. It was in a, uh, a bubble wrapped envelope, uh, mailing envelope inside of more bubble wrap and then in a box and then you can see it is pristine none of the corners are dinged uh i will say the art style of the book is this cartoon style it is it is uh full color it is reminiscent throughout the book it is very well done um i i gotta say i, I do like the art style it's like i said is that very much that cartoon i've never read matt's matt forbax's shotguns and sorceries uh, I, I kind of will kind of read this and probably go through and decide if I want to pick it up. There's some of the art. Um, like I said, the art is beautiful. Um, uh, it's very well done. Very nice. Uh, I don't know much about this setting. I backed it because it had Matt Forbeck's name on it, and I'm, I'm a big fan of Matt's work. Um, and uh, Robert Schwab, of course. And, and I'd never heard of Outland Entertainment. Uh, I'm glad to see their name. It does say Kickstarter exclusive, so maybe this is the alternate cover. Uh, the website, uh, the Kickstarter page doesn't show. Maybe one of the updates did, but they took so long. Uh, you know, four and a half years is ridiculous. Um, you know, I can see a year, you know, if the book wasn't published or whatever. Um, but basically, Outland Entertainment uh, really dropped the ball on this. It, it's beyond acceptable. Uh, it uh, It's beyond unacceptable. It's... Uh, it is uh, just downright stupid. Uh, let's see, I'm looking for a date. 2018. Uh, contents of this book are copyright 2018 Full Moon Enterprises. So, I mean, we're halfway through th 2019 now. And uh, this has got a copyright date of 2018. So that just tells you, you know, I, I don't know. And then the downside, uh, all the Kickstarter's names are on here. Um, which is nice to see. I'm sure my name's in here somewhere. I don't even know what level I backed at. Um, uh, I'll have to look for it later. John Polak, there I am. I'm in there at the adventurer level. And I back, like I said, I backed it at the $100 level. Uh, Hard Times Have Come, The Dragon City, The Omnibus, written by Matt Forbeck. I was supposed to get a copy of that. Uh, 
And then they had a, the gall to put an ad for Outland um, in the back of the book, which, as far as I'm concerned, I'll rip this out. Um, <clears throat> I will say the book is beautiful, um, but, you know, four and a half years waiting for this uh, to come in the mail is unacceptable. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm so upset and uh this i mean kickstarters are a gamble we all know that i mean that's kind of a horrible uh attitude to have towards kickstarter but it's the truth uh i i view it as a glorified so many of these big companies are using it to pre-order uh and they don't need to they have enough publishing clout they have enough capital background that they can print these games and 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 you know Savage Worlds is reprinted what four or five times. They've they've done a new print run. The book just keeps selling. There is no need for them to do a Kickstarter for uh, Suede for the Savage Worlds edition. They could have just put that book out. Companies are using it as a crutch, and I love I love Savage Worlds. Uh, I think those guys are great. Uh, uh, you know, Monty Cook, uh, super nice guy. These guys though, they don't need to be using Kickstarter. Kickstarter should be for new and innovative things. Uh, small press companies that you know don't have the operating capital you know one or two guys working out of a garage or out of a small business office that's to me the joy of Kickstarter not huge companies you know doing this like Monty Cook and you know Pinnacle and you know whatever uh, companies out there I mean as far as I know D&D doesn't do WotC doesn't do Kickstarters neither does Fantasy Flight um, Ulysses Spiel has done a bunch of Kickstarters, and I've backed a bunch of them. I won't back anymore. Basically, I'm not going to back Kickstarters from ex established, well-known companies. I just think it's, it defeats the purpose. And to be honest, I'm just tired of waiting, you know, two, three, four, five years to get my product. You know, I've wait, I've spent my hard-earned money. It is sitting in a bank account somewhere, garnering interest. When it could sit in my bank account, garner interest, and I could just go pick the book up at the local game store or order it off of Amazon. Amazon seems to be doing a bang up job of stuff. And I mean, if you have any problems, you can you can return it. You get your money back or whatever you want to do. Amazon's really great about that. This project <clears throat> by Outland Entertainment was so mismanaged that it was not even funny. And I think, sadly... I would think that if Outland Entertainment puts out another Kickstarter, I don't think it'll it'll fund. I hope, it, at least anybody who watches this video, I urge you don't back them. Don't don't back any of their projects. They they are non-communicative. They are almost to the point of antagonistic when you do talk to them. Um, I was affected by Hurricane Harvey back in 2017, and I was living out of a hotel. You know, and I lost my house, I lost my possessions, I lost everything for the most part. And, and people had it way worse than I did. Um, we went, you know, two weeks without running water and and electricity. It was it was a nightmare. I and I, you know, God forbid the people who went through like Katrina and Rita, because I know they had it far worse. But if that's a third of even what those people went through, I wouldn't wish it on anybody in the world. And I contacted these guys right after it, and when we got electricity going and everything, I contacted Outland Entertainment through the Kickstarter, through the established means that you are encouraged to use when you want to communicate with you know your your Kickstarter uh, representatives, uh, your the people that are making the product that you're kickstarting. And I said, look, guys, I, I'm I'm suffering from Hurricane Harvey. I've lost my house. Uh, that hunt, you know, the project's three years behind at this point. I need, I need my money back. Uh, you know, if there's anything you can do, let me know. I gave them my cell phone number and my email address. I did not even get a fucking, excuse my French, I didn't even get a fucking email saying, hey, we're sorry, uh, you know, we'll do the best we can, but your money's tied up, you know, we can't give it back to you. Not even an acknowledgement. And, and I know there's people out there worse off than I am, you know. But that $100 could have gotten me a night or two in a hotel where I would have had at least running water and electricity. Uh, and I have, you know, at the time I had an eight-month-old baby. So I have no respect for Outland Entertainment. Matt Forbeck is, is a great guy. I've met him once. Uh, I, I've loved the stuff he's worked on, Brave New World, uh, some of his fiction. He's fantastic. Uh, Robert Schwab is Shadow of the Demon Lord. Great game. Uh, his work on D&D on is phenomenal. 
nothing but huge respect for those guys. But Outland, you can go suck a dick. You guys blow. And I have no respect for you. And I wish that your company burns in flames. I mean, it, this is really... I hate to be so negative in, in a dark world. And I try to bring a little bit of humor to my YouTube channel. And I try to promote happiness and fondness. But these guys suck ass. I mean... I didn't even get everything I pledged. That's that's the part. I got the book. They're not answering any messages on Kickstarter except for the bare minimum, like some guy in Brazil. I guess Brazil's going through some problems right now, and they're holding everybody's mail outside of letters. If you have any kind of package, they're holding your mail, and you have to pay a fee to get your mail, but they're not notifying you that you have mail. So you kind of need to have a tracking number and know... And that's the only email he responded to. He didn't respond to anybody else. I, I just went and checked the Kickstarter page, uh, the comment section. And it's more of the same. A lot of people complaining that, you know, there's there's no information. There's no. I was supposed to get a signed plate. There's nothing in here. It's just the base book. I mean, if the plate's in here, it's buried in these pages, and I haven't seen it. Um, and I'm telling you, it's not in here. It's supposed to have been signed by Matt and uh, Robert. Sorry, guys. That's That's my phone. Apologize. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video and say, you know, very extremely disappointed in this. I'm, I know Shadow, Shotguns and Sorceries is a phenomenal setting. I'm going to enjoy reading this and I'm going to put it up on that shelf up there and it's never going to see the light of day. The sad part is this project took so long that Monty Cook has already put out Numenera 2nd Edition. There's already, so these rules are useless. This is Numenera 1st Edition or um, Cypher System 1st Edition. They've already put out a 2nd Edition. So these rules are already obsolete. Uh, and that's horrible. Now, again, the book is beautiful. It is pristine. It was packaged nice. The quality of the book looks looks fantastic. The art is amazing. But that has nothing to do with Outland. Uh, they sent it off to China to be printed. They gave some lame-ass excuse about literally a slow boat from China uh, I worked in customs for 10 years as a customs agent. I understand how international shipping works. Uh, and I also understand that all of these ships have GPSs on them. And you can contact the carrier and you can say, Hey, I have product on this ship. Give me the GPS cord. Give me the GPS or give me the tag of that ship so that I can track it on, on GPS so that I know when my product will hit the shores of the U.S. or wherever it's going. That is information that is readily available. And several people, including me on the Kickstarter, asked them for that information. Crickets. No reply. So Outland, suck a dick. You guys are useless, and I hope your company folds. And all the people you employ, I feel sorry for them because you're a shitty company. And it's just, this is horrible, guys. Uh, I mean, I didn't get any. I pledged $100, and I got a $60 book. Where's my other $40? I, I, this is ridiculous. I mean... I hope to God I never meet anybody from Outland, any of the executives from Outland, because I will give them a, a good piece of my mind, and I will try to shove this book up their ass. I mean, it's 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 pathetic. This is just rude, insensitive, um, highway robbery is what it is. I mean, I paid a hundred dollars for a book that's not worth a hundred dollars, and it already has an obsolete rule system in it. This is ridiculous. Um, so I'm sorry for the angry rant. Uh, I try to be positive, but I got nothing good to say about this, except the book itself um, looks nice, but Outland didn't have anything to do with that. This is all Monty Cook and the layout guys uh, and Robert Schwab, who wrote, you know, wrote some of the rules and everything, and for Mar uh, Matt, who, you know, wrote the setting. Uh, but sadly to say, I'm not going to play this game out of sheer spite. Um, it's going to sit on a shelf and collect dust. And maybe that's, a, that's a, a very negative attitude, and I apologize, but I am just so, so disappointed uh, at, at the whole dealing of this. And I've kept quiet for the whole four and a half years. I mentioned it once when we were talking about Kickstarter, but four and a half years. I paid for this. I paid for this December 2014. I paid for this. They got my $100.00 right then and there, December 14th. And it is now June 2019, and it literally got delivered today. No signed plate, no extra art, no Pathfinder rules, supposed to come with Pathfinder rules. No path, no, None of the extras I paid for are in here. So what the hell, guys? I mean, Outland, you, you should be held accountable. You should be... I hope somebody does a, a class action lawsuit because I'll jump on it in a heartbeat. I, this is ridiculous. I, I'm... I'm, I'm very sorry for the profanity and the angriness. Uh, I am Mr. Mean. 
you get my hackles up, you're going to hear from me. This is pathetic, guys. Outland, you should be ashamed of yourself for treating your customers. And I, 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 I won't buy anything that has your logo on it ever, ever again. And I will advise all my friends and all the buying public that I have influence on to advise you not to support this company at all. This is pathetic. Um, and it's just genuinely suck. Um, I wish nothing but the best to Matt Forba. Forbeck and Robert Schwab, you guys do great work, and the rest of the crew that worked on this, as far as in your camps, Outland, I have no respect for you. I, I will never do business. There's nothing you can do to make this right. Even if you gave me my money back, I still wouldn't be happy. That's how upset I am about this. Um, it's a cool setting, and it's the reason I backed it. I didn't know anything about Outland, and that's another thing, guys. If you're new to Kickstarter and you're you're thinking about uh, you know, investing your money in kicks. Be aware there are shysters out there like Outland that will take your money. And, uh, you know, there's even worse. The video game industry is rife with it. These guys come out and say they're going to make a game and then they disappear with your money. Um, <clears throat> the role playing industry, not so bad. This is probably the worst I've dealt with. Uh, and it's horrible. And But Outland is not a role-playing company. They are a publishing company. They publish other books and they publish comic books and everything. And it just shows you that their, their lack of professionalism shows through. Four and a half, almost five years to get a product. Uh, that's ridiculous. That is when the rules have been written. I mean, Cypher System has been out for a couple of years now. So this is, this is pathetic. Um, and I know they had their share of problems. Sure. But they did not maintain any kind of transparency. They didn't tell us what was going on. They didn't make any effort to keep us, the, the people who supported them, in the loop. Uh, you know, And that's just unacceptable in this day and age of, of instant communication. You can click on a button and type an email. You could blog it. You could blog it. You could, you could tweet it from your phone. There's a million ways nowadays to keep people informed. So I'm sorry to keep har harping on this. It's really got my ire up. Uh, and you know, I just want to make everybody aware. Um, I finally got it after four and a half plus years of waiting. It came in the mail. It is a gorgeous book. There's, there's no doubt about that. It's in great shape. I'm probably never going to play it. It's going to sit on a shelf. It's probably not even going to go on my shelf. As a matter of fact, I might just turn this in and give it to charity or something. I might go give it to my local game store and let them, uh, give it to somebody who, cause I just, I, I every time I look at this, I get mad. Um, and that's just, that's sad. So that's all. I just want to whip out a quick video before I get called into work. Um, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, again, I want to apologize for the angry rant and the profanity. That's typically not my style. I'm normally a, a very jovial guy and, and try to be happy and funny. And uh, But this, this got under my skin and I had to get it off my chest. So appreciate you guys for watching. Peace, love, and hair grease. And remember, Mr. Mean says,